your pockets, right? Imagine, you never know whose house you're going into, right? I, I, I can tell you the experiences that I've had with dealing with, uh, with so many police officers as patients, right? Do you know how nervous they get? Just, it, it doesn't matter if you're EMS professionals. It doesn't matter, right? Or personnel. That's the thing. There's a difference between personnel and professionals. There's a huge difference, right? So, you know, you got these EMTs, right? Walking in like this. Man, if you walk into my house like this, I'm like, hey, can you take your hands out your pockets? I don't care if you're EMS personnel, right? Because to me, you're telling me that you got some in your pocket that's getting ready to either A, sedate me, or B, I got to pull a 007 on you, right? And be like, the name's Jones, you know, Don Jones, right? So I want to do that. So, you know, palms facing forward, or, you know, this is weird standing like this all day. So no, like, I, I'll be like, hey, what's going on? How you doing, right? Um, so you're going to be my patient, knee guy. All right, what's your, what's your name? You're going to be knee guy for today, okay? All right, you're going to say your name is knee guy. If you fail, I'm going to find a different patient. Don't fail me. Look at me. Don't look at me. That was a test you failed. No, I'm just you. All right, so I come up. Hello, how you doing? My name is Donald. I'm an EMT from Superior. Um, what seems to be the problem today? First thing that you're going to ask, okay? And let's just say this guy is like, oh, I got some knee pain. So you got to be a good actor now. If you're not, I'm, I'm going to call Quentin Tarantino and tell me to get another person. All right, so go ahead. Uh, okay. I'm having knee pain right now. You have a knee pain? All right, so I'm going to have a partner one of these. Somebody come here. You in a red, because I like red so much. And you got the cross. I love that cross, too. No one on my chest. I say, you got the cross. All right, so I got my partner, Slipknot. <laughs> All right, because it's, it's on your shirt or your sweater. All right, I got my partner, Slipknot. Yeah, take your hands up your pocket. See? You already fell. <laughs> <laughs> so my partner right here, he's going to go ahead and assess you. Do you mind us touching you? Uh, I do not mind. You do not mind. So what was the first thing that I just did? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, nah. <laughs> yes. You did not say seeing safe be your side. Uh, girl, I'm just giving you just a little dirty day. See safe is not be your side safe. Yes, it's, it's safe. All right, so. Is that good? Yeah. All right, perfect. All right, so BSI is not seeing safe. So you guys want me to run it down like that? It's a little bit too boring. But BSI is not seeing safe. You're seeing your safe. Okay, thank you. My scene is safe. Hello, I'm an EMT from Trace. Right, um, I'm here to assess you today. I heard that you, you know, you called nine one one. What what seems to be the problem? Um, I'm having knee pain. You have a knee pain. Which knee is it? Uh, the right. Okay, the right. Now, what was one thing that I always kept on doing at every time that I was speaking to you just now? Uh, eye contact. Eye contact. Right now, in some cultures, eye contact can be very disrespectful. In other cultures, eye contact may be really good. Right now, what was the other thing that I did after you said, okay, knee pain? I, I said, okay, hey, you know what? All right, so this is my partner. That's what you said. What you say, slip now? Slipknot. <laughs> All right, this is my partner, Slipknot. He's going to go ahead and check you out. Do you mind? I do not. You do not mind. So I got that verbal consent. Okay? I'm going to tell you all something. When you are writing reports, always put that the patient verbalized consent. Right? Never just be like, oh, we just assess the patient. No. Don't do it. Because when it comes down to it, there are some people who will legit go ahead and sue you for something that they feel that you would not write in your report, and they will win. So always just say, hey, you know what? Patient verbalized consent for us to check. Okay, so which knee that you said is your right? All right, so my partner is going to check that out. I just want to ask you a couple of questions. All right, first off and foremost, I just got to ask you, what's your name? Uh, knee pain. Knee, knee guy. Sure. Knee guy. Are you sure? Okay, what's what's today, knee guy? Uh, June 11th. June 11th. Oh, okay, is it June 11th? Yeah. Nope. Today's the 12th. Okay. Oh, today's the 12th. Where and where are you at, man? No. <laughs> All right. Do you know where you are right now? Uh, yes. You know where you are? Can you just tell me where you are? Uh, at the fire station. Okay, you're at the fire station. You know what's going on right now and everything. You're pretty clear. Yeah. How many fingers am I holding up? Two. Who's the president? Uh, Joe Biden. Okay, perfect. Perfect by me. How many quarters does it take to make a dollar? Four. All right, perfect. You are SMRT. All right, see how I forgot the A? All right? All right, sir, so you can go ahead and just start checking him out. All right, so he's going to just kind of just start checking you out just a little bit. All right, there's no other check. You don't have any chest pain. You're not having any difficulty breathing or anything like that? No. Okay, listen, so I'm just going to be checking your... What am I doing right now while checking I'm talking? His pulse. Checking, his checking his pulse because we're checking. Because what did I just ask? What are the first two questions that I just asked? Do you have any chest pains? Okay, chest pain and is he breathing okay? Airway issues, right? 
So it's breathing just perfectly. How can I just automatically say that hey, ABCs are good? What was he just doing to me? Talk to he was sentences. just talking. So do I really? So for you all, yes, you you will have to verbalize. Hey, you know what? ABCs are perfect, right? Mm -hmm. You're at around like seventy. Uh, ABCs are perfect, right? I'm too good. <laughs> Trust me. Mm -hmm. Right. So ABCs are good. Airway, breathing, circulation. What was I just doing with the circulation? Shaking. Boom. He already gave me consent. Now he can't say, you can't renege and be like, no, you cannot touch me. At that point, I'm like, hey, what's going on? Okay. So, are there any life threats right now? No. no. So, this is going to be a what? Um, stay in play. Stay in play. That's push ups tomorrow. So, stay in play, right? So, with that being said, what's next? What's next? You scratched your head like you, you were digging for the answer. Oh, <laughs> you have to do, what is it? It's called a focus. Oh, yeah, you have to do history, but you also have to do, like, the focus exam on his knee. Okay, so history. So let's start with that. All right, so what is this feeling like today? Um, is it sharp? Is it dull? dull. Is, it's a dull pain? <clears throat> okay, when did this start? Um, a few days ago. All right, pretend like you're doing blood pressures and stuff like that. All right, so my, my partner's going to take a blood pressure. Yeah, so, okay, I was about to say it. <laughs> <laughs> you scared me for a second. Man. I was always okay. like, nurse. <laughs> All right, so what is one thing that I'm doing now? I'm getting to his level, right? Hey, do me a favor. How old are you, by the way? About 20. You're 20? Jeez, Christ beans and rice and Joseph Robinette Byron. All right, so when did this start again? A few days. A few days ago, what were you doing? Uh, physical training. Some physical training. Oh, man, you're not a couch potato, are you? Mm. No? All right. you have any allergies to medications? No. Do you take any medications? Uh, yes. Okay, what kind of medications do you take? Um, do me a favor. Push Adderall. down like a gas pedal. You can keep talking. Uh, Adderall. I said push down like a gas pedal. Good Lord, he is A and O times zero. All right, push up. All right, you say you take what? Uh, Adderall and vitamins. Okay, Adderall and vitamins, what kind of vitamins? You take Flintstones, um, adult vitamins, multivitamins? Adult vitamins. Adult vitamins, just for everyday purposes? Yes. Okay, just do me a favor. Go ahead and take off your glasses real quick. Why do you think I'm taking off his glasses? He's going to do a neuro. Yeah, I'm going to just check that out just because. Okay, just do me a favor. Just, ooh, good Lord. All right, nope, don't move your head. Whatever you do. All right, perfect. All right. How many fingers was I just holding now? One. What am I always doing every single time? You're assessing level of consciousness. Yeah. Yeah, I want that neurological state. I want to know, okay, is he going to answer my questions correctly? So now that it's a, it's a, it's not a load and go, it's a stay and play, I can't get too lenient. A lot of people say, oh, okay, it's just knee pain. And then next thing you know, or no, my favorite, oh, man, it's just jaw pain. And then 10 minutes later, why? Because you guys are going to learn it. In cardiac, one of the main things that you look for is jaw pain. If you're having jaw pain, I'm going to tell you, there's one person who went to the dentist, had some jaw pain. She was like, I've been, I've been having this for a couple of days now. Next thing you know, guess who was doing CPR? The dentist was. Why? Because sometimes usually that pain will radiate up to the jaw. Canal just power. Right? So, boom, are you having any other pain? Right, or anything like that? It's just your knee? Yes. Okay, all right. So what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to move that knee. All right, so cool. The primary assessment is done. The history taking is done. We already took vitals. What was the vitals? Uh, 120 over 80. 80? 120 over 80? Is that perfect? So he's in pain. So where do you think that blood pressure may be? Mm -hmm. It'll be a little bit higher, right? Which is why I said his uh, BP was like around the 70s. Or not BP, but just pulse was around the 70s. So let's just say he's at... 128 over 80, 84, right? 128 over 84. Is that good though? That's pretty good. Breathing is at what? Like around, let's say like 16, right? We're just gonna keep it, let's just say 17, because he's in just, he's in some pain or whatever the case may be. All right, so now what am I gonna do? You guys said it earlier. You guys said it when you all were out there. What am I checking for? DCAP DTLS. DCAP DTLS. Why am I checking for that? To see if there's um, any form of trauma or Injuries, abrasions, deformities. Right, I want to confirm that you're A and O times four. What is A and O times four? And I did it earlier. Alert and oriented. Alert and oriented. What are the four things that you need? Your name, well, let's see the date, uh, today's date, who location. is the president, and mm, the time just the name, the date, the place. 
Maybe. Name, time, place, event. Okay? Name, time, place, event. All right. So at this point, when I'm checking for DCAP BTLS, you're going to, so I'm going to just tell you, you're going to have to touch your partner tomorrow. So I'm going to just touch you. Boom. Do I have any gloves? Oh, my box of gloves are in the office. Okay. All right. So I'm going to just pretend like I'm touching you, right? I'm checking in the back. I'm making sure there's no what? No bleeding. Nothing of that nature, right? I'm also going to, boom, pull that mask, right? I'm going to say, hey, say ah for me. Okay, great. You said ah. Let me look in the nose. I'll probably move the nose a little bit. I'm also going to look at the ears. What am I going to look at the ears for? CSF. Boom. What does CSF going to look like? Clear. Clear and what? You put a, a piece of uh, gauze on it. Boom. You take it off. What is it going to look like? It's going to look like a clear halo with what? Oh. Uh, clear halo with a piece of, a dot of what? Blood. Blood. Right, clear halo with a dot of blood on there, which indicates that it is CSF. Okay, I'm also gonna look behind the ears for what? You guys haven't gotten that far, so I'm gonna look behind the ears for hmm? battle signs. Boom, battle signs. Right? What am I looking in the eyes for, Mel? Uh, You're picking on you a lot now because you know it. <laughs> you know it. The raccoon eyes. Raccoon eyes. Because what could that indicate? A skull fracture. Skull fractures, right? So I'm looking at raccoon eyes. Now I'm also gonna check the neck. Okay, boom. What am I gonna check? JVD. JVD and what else? You said what again? Tracheal deviations. Tracheal deviations. I'm kind of gonna move it around. I also wanna check for rigidity as well when when it comes down to trachea. Reason being is because if I feel something rigid in there, if I feel like it's not supposed to be, if it's not stable, then that could turn into what kind of issue? What is the trachea made to do? ABCs. It can turn into an airway uh, situation, a breathing uh, situation. Keep on saying circulation, right? Now I'm gonna check the shoulders. Boom. Okay. Hey, do me a favor. Lift up your hands for me. Just no, no, no. no you're not praying. I'm not at church. I already left church. Okay. All right. Now I'm checking for that. Right, can you feel me doing that? Yeah. Can you feel me doing this? Yeah. Do me a favor. Go ahead and squeeze both fingers. Perfect. You're strong. All right. Now I'm gonna check where. You can go ahead and put them down for me. I'm going to check where? The sternum. sternum. I want to make sure that there's no movement in the sternum, right? I'm still confirming that this didn't happen today. That it happened, you know, some time ago, right? Now, here's the thing that I want everybody to understand. Everybody do this. Everybody do this. Business, turn it back around, pleasure. Okay? Business, pleasure. All right? <laughs> No, no, no. This is this is business. Oh, God. This is pleasure. Oh, you, gotta, you gotta do it like that. All right. There, there you go. So I'm not gonna be like, all right. How's your chest doing? Right. That's, it's just not gonna work like that. Okay. So when I'm checking the trachea, I don't check like this. I don't be like, oh, is that a cross? That is. Right. No, I don't do. I don't do that. Right. I check down here. I check right here. Any pain? No pain. No pain? Okay. All right. Now, just so you got stomach pain. I do have stomach pain. Yeah, a little stomach pain? Where is it hurting at? Uh, no. Like, oh, right there? Don't touch it. Don't touch it. All right, go ahead and put that hand out. So you point it right there? Yeah. All right, so where would I start my palpation process? On the opposite side. Where? You're going, if it's in the right upper quadrant, you're going to start in the left upper quadrant. Correct. All right, any pain right there? No. What does your pain feel like, by the way? Like a tightness. Now the only time you can do with this is when you're palping. All right, you're not gonna feel like this. So what, what is that? You look like about the back end. Somebody. Okay, all right. Oh, 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 there it is. All right, it hurts. All right. So now what am I doing? Right, I'm checking. Okay, so what's right there? What could be right there? The liver, the Part of it, right? Okay, so I'm gonna ask you, have you, uh, have you, you know, do you drink by any chance? No, you don't drink? You say you take medications? Did you take anything else other than that was pre uh, prescribed to you? Oh, uh, no. No, why do you think I was asking that question? Say so what again? Yeah, because what could damage your liver? Drinking, fuels, everything, right? <coughs> everything. 
right? What can I also check for if, if it's a liver issue? You can look at the um, jaundice. You can check for Boom. yellow skin. skin, the eyes. The skin, right? All right, do me a favor, just one more time. Extend your legs out just as far as you can go. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. All right, boom. So now I'm checking right here, right? Can you get any pain right there? No? Any pain right here? Ah, just say ah. Ah, oh, there's, okay, there's pain right there. So it's just the knee. Okay, now do me a favor. Can you walk? Are you able to walk with assistance? Yes. Okay, you're able to walk with assistance. All right, cool. Now, at any point, did I have to give a message? Verbalize that. At any point, did I have to do any kind of intervention that was super duper serious? No, verbalize that. They're gonna want verbalization. They're gonna want you to say, hey, this is what's going on, this is what I see, this is what I've noted. They want you to say everything. Now, when you get into the field, right, when you get into the field, you don't have to be like, okay, all right, no, just, hey, just go step by step. 